Hey guys, today I have a delicious vegan feta cheese recipe for you because if there's one thing you don't have to sacrifice on the vegan diet, it's delicious flavor. I've also got a back and abdominal workout for you, but let's get started with the recipe. Begin by adding two tablespoons of white miso to a mixing bowl, the juice of one half a lemon, one quarter cup apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon olive oil, two tablespoons nutritional yeast, one tablespoon oregano, one half teaspoon garlic powder, and salt and pepper to taste. And combine well. Next, cube one package of extra firm tofu. Finally, add your cubed tofu to the marinade and allow it to sit at least an hour, but it will taste best if you can leave it overnight. My favorite way to serve the vegan feta is with a delicious, refreshing Greek salad. So start with one de-seeded cucumber that's been chopped. Next, de-seed and chop one green bell pepper. Three vine ripened tomatoes. Ten black olives. and season with salt and pepper. Add the marinated tofu cubes. And top with fresh basil. First exercise is the assisted pull-up. Now there are two variations you can do on this exercise. The first is using the assisted pull-up machine. Draw your shoulder blades together, then pull up as far as possible. I like to aim chest to bar rather than chin. If you find an overhand grip is just making it too difficult to pull up, try a neutral grip with palms facing one another. Now, if you really want to build up the strength to do unassisted pull-ups, then I recommend using a strength band. Go ahead and loop it around a pull-up bar, and you can either place your knee in the loop or a foot. Second exercise, the seated row. A few tips. Make sure that you are going to roll your shoulders back before even beginning. Then you want to draw your shoulder blades together, bringing the handlebars to just below chest height. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and hold for one moment at the top before releasing the handlebars back to the starting position. Another variation would be to use a cable if the seated row machine is taken. Keeping the cable high and rowing to your chest is gonna work more of the upper back while a lower cable and aiming towards just below your chest is going to hit more of the mid-back. Exercise number three is the reverse cable fly. This exercise will work the muscles in the back of the shoulder 
as well as the upper and mid back. Keeping your core nice and tight, draw your shoulder blades together, bringing the arm backwards, forcing the back of the shoulder to do the work. Be careful not to shrug your shoulders. Keep your shoulders down and back away from your ears. Perform this exercise one arm at a time or with both arms. A variation to the seated cable reverse fly would be a standing reverse fly. Now that we've worked our back, a large muscle group, we can move on to our abdominals. You always want to perform your abdominal exercises after your large muscle group exercises in order to make sure that they are not fatigued. Abdominals do not need to be trained daily. They should be trained just like any other muscle group. As a general rule, it's best to condition only one specific region of the abdominal wall per training session. Lower abs should be trained first, followed by obliques, and finally upper abdominals. But if you're going to hit them all in one training session, make sure you're going to train them in that order. Begin by tucking or rolling your pelvis under, allowing the lower back to flatten slightly against the floor. Next, draw your belly button in towards the floor or towards your spine, activating your transverse abdominis. That's the group of muscles that wraps around your stomach like a girdle. Finally, raise legs up to ceiling height, then lower back down to the floor. If you want to increase the difficulty, lower legs only to one or two inches off the floor. Second exercise, the bicycle crunch, great for working the lower abs, the TVA, as well as the obliques. Similar beginning steps of tucking the pelvis under so that the low back lies slightly flat against the floor, drawing the belly in, then finally raising the legs, bringing opposite elbow to opposite knee. Exercise number three is for the obliques, a side plank. When getting into the side plank, make sure that your shoulder is directly beneath your palm and that your hips are not going to be sagging towards the ground. Make sure your obliques are staying nice and tight and hips are staying up off the floor. A little bit easier variation on the side plank would be to rest on your forearm. Finally, isolate your upper abs by doing an elevated leg crunch. A variation on this would be to raise your legs towards the ceiling. Now I'll go ahead and let you enjoy the full workout without commentary. So what you been doing? I've been living my life waking up on my own. Are you doing the same thing? You can say if you like, but I don't need to know. And I, I, I've been wondering why we've been wasting all this time. What you been doing? I thought that I saw you, I guess I was wrong Are you doing the same thing? Convincing yourself that you're better alone And I, I could tell you how you never left my mind And you tell me that you miss me and I'm mad Oh God, I miss you too It's all I ever do I'm coming back to you I saw 
tell you I guess I was wrong Are you doing the same thing? Convincing yourself that you're better alone And I, I could tell you how you never lost my mind And you tell me that you miss me and I'm not Oh God, I miss you too It's all I ever do I'm coming back to you